Tropical Storm Rosa has made its way to Arizona. The storm brought record amounts of rainfall. Jordan Evans is tracking the latest. And the storm started rolling through southern Arizona last night, and here's some incredible video coming out of Yuma. This is just showing you several inches of water have filled the streets down there, creating pretty hazardous driving conditions. And the storms, they'll continue through the rest of the week, as we can see as we look at Doppler radar. In fact, we are still tracking some showers and thunderstorms down to the south along the I-8 corridor. In fact, this was really active earlier today around Tucson, where they saw quite a bit of lightning and thunder down there out ahead of Rosa. But this is the big cluster that we're tracking, as it's still in Baja, California, tracking up towards Sonora and eventually into Arizona. So we'll put this in the future cast, of course, and we'll show you what this could look like as we head into the rest of the week. We'll track uh, Rosa, I should say, as it will make a landfall in Baja, California later tonight, and then a second landfall just to the west of Puerto Penasco tomorrow morning. And that's when we'll see a lot of the heaviest rain begin to fill in from Tucson to the valley and then areas up to the north and Flagstaff. And then that will continue to be the case even into Wednesday. The rain will be with us on Wednesday, all before drying things out as we head into Thursday afternoon. So what could this look like in terms of rainfall totals? Well, we're still tr tracking about two to four inches coming in from areas from the Flagstaff down to the valley, as well as areas down towards Yuma along that international border. Lighter amounts down to Tucson, as well as in Flagstaff, about one to three inches. But the main thing we want everyone to know is that flash flooding will be the main issues. So if you encounter any flooded roads, turn around and don't drown. That's what we want everyone to understand. And also tomorrow, breezes will pick up in the morning. As we can see, winds howling out of the south about 20 to 25 miles an hour. And then those winds will continue to back off as we head in through the evening. But talking temperatures now, we're going to keep things pretty cool here in the 70s through the rest of the night. And even tomorrow morning, we won't cool off that much because highs tomorrow are only going to rebound into the 80s here in Phoenix. In fact, not all the Valley communities making it into the 80s tomorrow. And then highs across the state tomorrow will be pretty Pretty cool up in Flagstaff at 57, 64 in Payson, 68 in Sedona, and 66 degrees in Prescott for tomorrow. For Phoenix and areas out to the west, we'll start, we'll hit a high tomorrow, I should say, in the upper to mid 80s, and then down in Tucson, 84 degrees for a high tomorrow. And flags and for the seven day forecast, I should say 86 on Wednesday, 85 on Thursday with plenty of sunshine returning Friday and Saturday. And then look at these high temperatures heading into next week. And we're going to keep things below average Saturday and Sunday with those highs heading down into the 70s and those low temperatures even down to the low 60s. In the Cronkite Weather Center, I'm Jordan Evans.